What's going on YouTube? So I'm just doing a quick video about something new I've picked up and I'm actually really liking it. It's going to be part of my everyday kit now. So what I've picked up is called the Smart Tube uh, with one T. Uh, I got it off Amazon for $35. I actually bought two of them. Uh, there's a little bit of a sale going on at the moment. So we can get three for the same price as two, but you know, I digress. So what I liked about this kit and why I chose it over some of the competitors was that it actually came with some different adapters that you can use. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using the Nalgene adapter, I'm using the smaller bottle adapter and the adapter to the one that actually has the flow, one-way flow valve in it. Uh, so what I've, I did have an issue with this when I first got it and was using it in that the bite valve, it was kind of awkward to use because it wouldn't rotate sideways and it's not an odd shape, right? So because it's an, an odd shape, and a way to bite it, it's not round like other valves are. So, and it rotates in this method, which means that if you don't have your tubing set up properly, it could be a real issue. So what I ended up doing was I bought uh, two sets of the Sawyer refill kits. And so what that lets you do is you can actually rotate this like this now to get it in the perfect spot. And I've actually used two, so that way I can disconnect it, have the tubing running up through a pack or similar and not worry about it. It also lets me do things like use a refill bag with the Sawyer straight into the bottle without having to use the extra tubing or keep it on my pack. And if I ever need to like twist and undo this, I noticed that the tubing was twisting. So if I undo it from here, I can then take this off nice and easy. So one of the main issues I've had with hydration systems over the years is I drink too much water when I'm using it and I kind of don't ration the water that I've got. So the reason I like this above a traditional hydration system is that I can actually pull this tube up and depending on the level that you have the, the straw, that's where you'll drink down to in your bottle. So I really quite like that. Uh, it means that I can go say halfway through a hike, know that I've drunk half my water and then ration it through and go, oh, well, I'm drinking more water than I plan to. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this system. Um, what I plan to do when I'm going on a hike is actually use it with the Nalgene bottle. So that way I'm cutting down on what I'm carrying. Uh, and I like having a Nalgene bottle so I can boil water and do filtration and things if I need to. For example, I can use the Sawyer and squeeze it straight in. For example, this onto this and then put it in. Uh, and that way I can have semi-filtered water in here, boil it up, then put the straw straight in it and drink straight from the same bottle and be all good. So it does have, a, because of the adapters that it comes with, it does work on quite a few things. What I found it doesn't work on is things like a Powerade bottle where the lid is a bit too big uh, and there's no adapters that I can find on the internet. I have a Grail Ultralight, uh, which is obviously it doesn't have any kind of drinking or cap on it that I could attach it to. There is the other grails that do have a drinking point that you can attach it to, uh, or could try to attach it to, I should say, but because it's there's a bit more of an offset there, um, thanks to Titan or the T2 YouTube channel, uh, he said that that won't work on it. Uh, so I'm going to have a play around, see if I can buy another bottle lid, see if I can maybe fix the one-way valve and drill appropriate holes, etc. Because uh, I really like the idea of having the Grail and the Nalgene bottle as my two bottles that I carry. That gives me all of the filtration and boiling capabilities that I might want out in the field. Another thing that I like about this compared to a normal hydration bladder is I can actually do mixes and things in these bottles without worrying about contaminating or wrecking, I should say, the, the bladder. Um, because the bladder is the most expensive part of the other one, this one that's the caps in the tube, and you can just replace the bottles as you see fit. You know, if one gets a hole in it, you just swap it out with another bottle anywhere along the route that you're walking. You're not having to change your entire system. Uh, talking prices. All right, so prices. These were $30, 30, 30 to $35 each. 
Uh, currently on Amazon, you can get three for the price of two. Uh, so for basically what it is, is some adapters and some straw. It's pretty expensive, but there I saw some other branded ones that were twice the price, which obviously I didn't really, really like. Um, but once you add in the two sets of release clamps for the Sawyer system, then you can, then it ends up being an extra $15 for each of those. So you end up as a $60 setup, uh, which is on the pricey side for a bladder system. But the fact that you get flexibility and, and customizability and all of the issues are gone that I know of with bladders and all of the pros that come with having a bladder system and a tube. So how do I carry this system? So I carry it in one of two ways. If I'm doing a small hike, I'll use it on a belt or something and I'll attach it to a belt clip and then carry it around. You'll see a little video now of me refilling it from that when I'm wearing this like a bandolier. Uh, and the other way that I use this is on the front of my back on the chest straps, I might have it attached. So that's another reason why I put the short adapter on it is so that I can have this on my chest, very short piping and everything's all good there. Any questions, put them in the chat below. Uh, I see all the comments and I respond to most of them. Uh, one thing to note with this is, was if I was refilling it from this bottle, you do need to burp it at least once. Uh, we're doing it and you can see that this bottle has had some use and now it's all compressed and not going back to the way that it was. So if you're filling it up, it works. And then what you do is you vertically flip it, loosen it off, let the air in, do it back up go back to vertical, let it drain. So say I was wanting to fill this from the bottle, right? I would attach it like that, invert it so that the water goes in. This bottle will compress to the point that it needs to get burped, at which point you can just put it up and you can either loosen this off with a half turn or unclip it, let it burp, put it back in again. Uh, all in all, I'm very happy with this as a system, uh, with the flexibility that I get. Uh, and when it's inverted, it doesn't leak that much. For example, if I put it up like this, right, it's not actually dripping, even though it's upside down. But if I give it a little squeeze, it'll let some water out. Right. So when there's no squeeze going on, there's no water coming out. All up, I'm very happy with the system. Uh, and even though it was $60 for it, it's compatible with all of my prepping and other gear that I have. I can use filters, I can use bigger bags, I can use everything. I bought two just in case I needed to have it on different kit setups, but to be honest, buying one of them plus two of the Sawyer refill adapters makes it a very practical, worthwhile system. Thanks for watching. How long's Mabel been there?